Hey guys, welcome back to Maxplain Dawn of War Unification. Today I have a faction guide for you for the Legion of the Damned. Um, I did one for 5.9.1 and uh, I thought to myself where well, I'd when I put them in one of these uh, update videos with multiple factions, but then I thought, may ju let's just do a new one. These guys are your kind of warped marines. These guys are living in the warp for so long that they have become flaming skulls. No, <laughs> they have been like, are they even humans anymore? Nobody really knows, but they are still loyal to the emperor as far as I know. And they are more like these godly intervening uh, guys. If there's like uh, shit happening somewhere and they, then they come in, kill every Sino or heretic and then they are gone again. So they are very uh, elusive. And uh, gameplay wise they are also very uh, interesting, the, everything for them is free, or is it? We will see <laughs> in a minute. And here we are in the safe game as usual. Um, we will talk about resources and unit, cap, unit caps first. These uh, resources here are misleading um, because I play on death mode and you start off with these uh, resources. Normally you do not start off with resources and you do not generate resources, so everything you build is quote unquote free. You have two uh, more implicit resources. You have time, so everything takes time to build, which is not as, uh, how should I say, um, un unimportant. Uh, every Necron player will agree that time is really important. The Necron Warriors, for example, are also free, but take quite a long to build. Um, and the second one is the HP of your wah. Of your portal, your HQ. You only have one building which produces units, so if they are building slow, your uh, one building is occupied for longer, so you can see where this is heading a bit. And your uh, portal HQ gets uh, lower and lower. It starts off with 1,666, uh, 16, the, uh, the devil and whatever, but it, it gets uh, lower and lower the more stuff you build. So um, it states in every tooltip reduces maximum at uh, the last one here to reduces portal maximum health by a small amount by a small amount by a medium amount and what else a large amount um, a massive amount you see where this is uh, coming from so uh, it's all percentage based so we'll you will never kill your portal yourself but there is no minimum health so to speak basically I, I guess one HP is the lowest you can get if you keep building stuff um, and if you lose your portal, y you basically lost. If you're sp playing an Annihilation Victory, you lost and then it's uh, all over. So having a low HP portal, as you can see here, with only 500 HP is pretty uh, scary in the end. Okay, the unit caps, you start off with eight uh, uh, squad cap and zero vehicle cap. There are several ways to increase it to the maximum 2020. You can build uh, listening posts, like standard listening posts, give you one squad cap and two vehicle cap. Upgrading them to the fortified position add-on gives you another plus one to a squad cap and plus two to vehicle cap. And one of the heroes, the Attica Cantorius, gives you also plus two to uh, infantry cap, uh, squad cap, so to speak. So this is how you can increase your squad cap and whatnot. Um, ah, yeah, one thing about resources, you see that the health here is stable. Um, the listening post, the, 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 what should I say? Normally your health, your, the health of your portal is always draining um, from the start. Um, so you would need listening posts um, to stabilize. Two listening posts will stabilize the portal, the first one, it states here. Uh, Trustedly unstable requires energy siphon from listening posts to stabilize two and to heal three so every additional listening post will uh, give your um, portal health regeneration so as long as you're not at 500 but uh, let's say 2000 3000 hp and you have a solid regeneration you can still have it intact so uh, to kill legion of the damned you want to kill the listening post basically there's one another building that uh, provides regen this is a turret you can build on a uh, select deposit this counts as two uh, listening posts and the health degeneration of the uh, um, portal increases so you need more listening posts slash these turrets as you tear up 
<coughs> sorry, you can see here these add-ons, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five. You need every tier needs one additional listing post. So you need um, two to stabilize and three to heal for tier one. Then you need three to stabilize in tier two, four, five, uh, six to stabilize and even seven to heal if you are tier uh, seven, uh, tier five. So you see that you need some map control to um, go on with it, or you will want to at some point stop tacking up if you haven't not didn't got enough listening posts. Um, okay, that's the resources. Let's talk about buildings and units. The buildings are fairly quickly done. The portal of the damned, as I said, is your uh, HQ and your only unit production building. You build basically everything. Builders, uh, cappers, late game units, everything is here. Some units can be deep strike from here. And uh, interestingly, once you reach the final um, tier, you can use this, uh, the stars realign against you. You can move your portal. You can see it's in the middle of the map. I started here, of course. And if you use this ability, <coughs> you can go anywhere, like in the midst of this uh, Titan. Oh no, it actually looks for something um, passable, interesting. And then you're back tier one. If you're like, for example, lost a lot of listening posts and uh, are about to lose your port of the dam, you can use this. But yeah, you are now tier one again. So you can only build tier one units. Your uh, already built units, of course, will stay up and running. So this is a more of a last resort uh, to uh, uh, regain health regeneration for the portal as you tacked up and maybe lost some listening posts. And also for <coughs> re-positioning. Um, but it's, um, as I said, requires you to be in tier five first. So it is, is really late, late stuff. Other buildings you have access to, of course, are your listening posts, as I said. Um, these can be upgraded twice. These are also the place where you get all the researches. I have all my researches done here, but you have uh, some researches that all go uh, get done by the listening posts. And in the final one, uh, okay, we need to upgrade again. So we can see the um, ability. Once you have your fortified, no, your maximum, your heavily fortified, you can use an ability that will um, drain health from your um, HQ. And uh, this listening post gets invisible and will increase the rug on the building, defense shutdown becomes incredibly hard to kill. So this uh, basically drains, uh, as you can see here, it drains uh, energy from your HQ and transfer it here to uh, make it uh, more durable. Hopefully I'm not dying here. <laughs> oh no, it's a regeneration again, so this effect wear off. So you can use your uh, regeneration from your HQ to keep your listening posts alive, which is really nice to have. Um, only usable for the final tier. Other uh, buildings you can build, uh, just um, apart from the turrets, are your mines. The mines are free, and this was in the previous version uh, one the biggest one of the biggest upsets uh, about Legion of the Damned among other things, is that you could build mines immediately. You could fly over your builder from <coughs> minute one, build mines in the enemy base and annoy your opponent. Uh, this got dealt with that they are now limited to one per listening post. So I have now two here, three, four, five, six listening posts, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six mines. I cannot build more. If I want to build more, I would need uh, to get another listening post. They are still free, so you are still seeing them put in very obnoxious positions. But then again, uh, you can only have a handful, uh, even if, and this is your only uh, defensive building apart from listening posts um, in skirmish. In uh, survival, of course, you have some turrets. And this turret here, the entrenched turret, is uh, more or less, uh, you can defend or try to defend a slack deposit, but it's not placeable anywhere, so it's not very fitting for defending your base, for example. This entrench turret is invisible and can be upgraded uh, to a missile turret for free, of course. Um, takes time. Takes time to build building time for listening posts, for example, it's also uh, longer than your standard uh, building time for buildings. Um, last but not least, the uh, portal um, is um, also invisible from tier three onward, I think it was tier three, not tier two. So this is uh, helps to keep it alive. So the enemy needs to bring a detector with it. 
Okay, this is the buildings. Let's talk about the units. And the first unit, the builder, the now got the name, the nascent dreams of a dying emperor. This baby here. Um, <clears throat> what was it called? The game Death Stranding uh, creates you here. Is your builder? It can build, repair, repair for free. So, uh, whenever you have a building or structure being attacked, we have some builders to repair it. It can teleport and it can fly. So it has, um, it's basically fly, it just goes through every obstacle here. Um, so very useful and it also states that it can only be damaged by energy weapon, whatever this means. So it's normal bolters or whatever will not hit it, but like plasma guns, flamers and stuff can hit it. So you can use it freely to scout in the early game for the most part and are highly, um, yeah, it's highly incentivized that you use it to scout to see where the enemy is heading because most of the units are really slow so you want to have the intel where to strike or where to defend. This is the builder and you have access to two hero units. The first one we talked quickly is Attica Kenturius. Um, he increases your uh, cap and whatnot but he also comes with a set of very useful abilities. The first one he has is the Imperial Tauro. Um, it's basically a mark target, uh, which increases the damage done to a unit. Then you have your Soul Strike, which uh, does look like a, a Soul Strike from the um, from the Psyker, but is actually more or less uh, from the Tau Commander, the target acquired. So it does instantly damage. Um, and the last one are um, one is from the uh, Animus Malorium, his little uh, skull probe. The skull probe gives him the soul strike. This one, uh, also from the skull probe, is a temporary invulnerability. Also really useful. Um, yeah, it's from it's it's basically the uh, from IG the priest's uh, invulnerability. Really nice to have. And then this is tier three, only and deploys a nuclear warhead. This is um, more or less. Uh, like the uh, uh, from the from the what is it called? Uh, Mad dogs from the orcs, which also have uh, a similar thing. So this is this hero, all uh, very useful. Um, not sure if he can detect by himself, but at least the skull probe should be should make him uh, able to detect. The skull probe can be added in tier two. Where this uh, soul strike ability is also present, and it does the gift of the warp curse and uh, technical nuclear warhead is tier three or even tier four. Speaking of tier four, the fire that burns the warp, very very cool looking hero. This is the one you saw in the beginning. Um, if you're tier four, the first thing you want to get is this hero. Why? Um, because he doubles the production rate of your HQ. So. Having him on the field and alive is a necessity for late game units. You then can start to quote unquote spam units before you have to um, more or less uh, decide carefully what unit to get. But with this guy you can then like power produce whatever you want. Um, he is very capable in melee as you can see, also in range, can also get a melter pistol upgrade and can summon a dreadnought, we will talk about the dreadnought later, for free as soon as he hits the field. So also another reason to have him on the field because he comes with another unit attached to it. Then he also has a set of very useful abilities, the first one is teleport, which is always nice, and this one, this uh, Eye of Sauron, <laughs> Uh, is um, trains all these abilities train uh, energy from the HQ to perform. And this one gives him um, a, a, a map pack. You could say he can. You can see the whole map for a uh, split second. I cannot show it here because I am dev mode, but reveals the um, map for a second. And this um, one trains a, um, energy from the portal, so and uh, heals him basically. And this one drains energy from the. Um, HQ and strengthen his uh, melee attack. So um, these two can be combined really well to make him a beast in melee so he will not die and also keep hitting hard. So very very useful commander. Um, now we switch over to the infantry. The first two infantry you can get is the Legion Outrider which is a bike and the second one is the Legionnaires themselves. Let's talk about the bikes. The bikes were the <coughs> second most or like like the most imp 
um, important thing to be adjusted because they did a lot of damage were quickly to uh, um, produce and could be a must in tier one to like six seven of these uh, legion outriders they cost two population cap and yeah they would be really strong they can uh, deal damage in melee and ranged um, they deal like flaming damage i'm not sure if all all infantry just like this initial flaming uh, dps over time but those guys here do all the infantry they um, as i said can do damage in melee and range the damage got reduced quite a bit they have this burnout ability that um, is a knockback the area isn't the greatest so you want to aim it really nice you can click it on an enemy squad but if the enemy squad wants away it will always initiate and will not um, use it again and again and again so best used uh, if there is a squad that wants to engage you in melee not really useful if uh, against squads that uh, kite you in tier 2 with an upgrade you can get heavy bolters i want wanted to just to show how cool the model look model looks with the bolter oh there's a little misalignment with the selection circle it should be on the other side but okay is it like when it uh, turns around yeah okay this is interesting uh, selection circle always stays here could be also an uh, engine problem, but yeah, you have it here. Um, the infantry, all the infantry has a morale bar. These heroes do not, right? Yes, they are unbreakable. And the infantry has this warp sickness, it's called. Once uh, they are incredibly hard to kill, don't take a lot of damage, and uh, especially like the um, Terminators later regenerate health like absolute mad Terminators. But if their morale is broken, they get slowed. They get damage over time and they cannot reinforce. So this is the, the downsides. The upsides is that they do even more damage. So the damage overall is really high on these guys. When the morale is broken, the damage is increased further. But as I said, they take more damage then. So from all sources, they burn damage from, they take damage just from having no morale, like instability for demons. And they are slow and cannot reinforce. So if you want to take down a squad in, in direct combat you want to use uh, morale reducing weapons like flamers uh, sniper rifles uh, stuff like that high morale dps um, let's talk about the legionnaires um, quickly um, the, the armor type you see here is demon these are demon medium and all these are demon high so like a uh, big old demon so you really want to take down their morale the morale starts off really low like 150 or something so uh, you can break them. Your legionnaires, they do not start with like this seven models, they start with two models, but every tier up, like tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five gives you one model, and then there's one upgrade, which also gives you one extra model. So in the end, you have eight models, which is quite a bit. Uh, reinforcement, as I said, takes quite a lot of time. They are slow. Um, you see here, they're really slow. Um, and you see they are infiltrated. This is also an upgrade they can get uh, later on they do not start infiltrated they um, do not start with these weapon options in tier 2 with the there's like one weapon option that enables this heavy bolter and also their weapon options you can get then in tier 2 a flamer a heavy bolter or a plasma gun and in tier 3 a multimelter the weapon loadout also increases with the tiers they start off with one weapon loadout um, in tier 1 I guess let's quickly check it we are getting uh, to tier one again. They have one, yeah, for every tier. Tier one, one, tier two, two, and so on and so forth. You also see here that it creates, creates a great portal, which is uh, tier three. Grand and a great portal is tier three. And then you can get the multimeter. The grenade, you see here the frag grenade is also uh, given by them by the upgrade that uh, allows them to get the heavy weapons. And this ability here, a fitchment of your imagination, is ability they start with. Um, this is basically a, how should I say, safe for them. If they run out of morale, they can use this to uh, uh, warp out of existence. They are now gone from the map. And they, if they come back, they get a uh, like flat plus 100 morale or something. So it helps them to um, get their uh, morale back and stop uh, burning down. But the time they are away is random. So it can be, uh, I don't know like 30 seconds but it can also be like a minute or two so um, this is more or less a last resort and also meant to keep your enemies occupied if you <coughs> for example drop them again uh, behind enemy lines and the enemy brings a big army to uh, 
uh, deal with them because one squad is normally not enough you can use this and uh, stall more time which is as i said time is the thing uh, they suffer the most um, and then the other two infantry you have are terminators and assault terminators and there they are back um, interesting about the terminators is that they do not have a cap but as, uh, as I said previously, they all decrease the HP of your um, HQ. So having more Terminators means less HP on your HQ, means uh, you are more uh, danger in danger to being um, sniped, your HQ sniped. These Terminators are really strong. Um, as the usual, they take quite a lot of reinforcement. They have a second tier weapon upgrade, which allows them to get heavy flamers and assault cannons. I usually go for assault cannons and they can teleport out of the get-go. Uh, start off with maximum 5 I think and can with the upgrade that also increases the uh, legionnaire squad size by um, 1 increases their terminator loadout as well. Or are they 6 from the beginning? I think they are 6 from the beginning. I mix it up with the assault terminators. The assault terminators also um, have the same traits like they, they like these ones as well with the warp sickness. No morale means they are broken taking a lot of damage. Um, and these guys here can teleport and are your more or less standard melee, melee terminators uh, with absolutely demon armor and whatnot. So um, really useful squads. Um, one thing I wanted to say, yeah, these guys regenerate health really quickly. These guys, it is okay-ish. But if you were having a squad of terminators broken you want to uh, and want to kill it, you must uh, pursue it or it will regenerate again. <coughs> These are your infantry. You also have some vehicles. The vehicles overall are more, uh, not as, how should I say, over the top as your infantry. The infantry is your backbone of demonic guys that aren't really killed that easily. Your vehicles on the other side are more or less uh, quote unquote vanilla uh, stats. You have a rhino, which has, okay, it has a lot of uh, health, but is produced really slowly, has a gunner on top, this gun. And let's see how many how many uh, guys can fit inside. Uh, has um, smoke launchers, so this is available in tier two, but takes uh, quite a lot of time to get on the field. But then it will help you to deal with the uh, low mobility of your um, infantry because they're really slow. You c uh, Rhino is really useful. Again, it has quite the long production time. Similar to the Treadnought, which is also available in tier 2, it has quite a long production time, can later get assault cannons and twinning glass cannons, which is really uh, the kicker here, the twinning glass cannons. In tier 3, you can add Predators, which immediately can get their twinning glass cannons, which is, now that I think about it, maybe a bit um, too much, but um, yeah, they have really big uh, damage in tier 3. Um, as the terminators they have no cap for it other than the um, squad cap so you can get up to four predators if you want to but then again you lose quite a lot of uh, hp of your hq in tier four you get the venerable dreadnought from your fire guy here which is um, basically a dreadnought with more hp and everything you see here all the sixes has uh, smoke launchers can get um, inferno cannon and multimelter and twinning glass cannon so from all these I would normally get the Twinning Glass Cannon or if I'm fighting a mainly infantry and demon army I would go for the Inferno Cannon let's say against Tyranids for example. In tier 4 you have also access to the Land Raider. The Land Raider is kept to 1. It was in the beta kept not kept so I was saying why you would get a Predator if you can get uh, <laughs> more Land Raiders. But yeah it is kept by 1. It's more or less a standard Land Raider but has one pretty cool ability. Nightmare of Best Forgotten. This is not your standard machine spirit uh, ability. It can use this also in dire situations, but also like to um, do some damage around it. It will infiltrate it and do some damage around it, including to itself. Um, really useful if it, for example, gets surrounded by melee units, so it's really nice. But you also can drive it in and use it uh, offensively, so really like this ability. It also stays a bit hidden <coughs> longer than I thought, so you can also try to avoid uh, combat if the enemy does not have um, detectors. Has the more or less standard twinning glass cannon on each side, assault cannons from the top and a storm bolter on the top. 
And in tier 5, the only tier 5 unit on the field is the Hell Knight. Hell Knight is your Terminator, uh, Terminator, tier tier 1 Titan. I just get some more upgrades so you can see, yeah, you get all the weapons here. This is more or less your Titan, uh, tier 1 Titan you had from Imperial Guard with all the weapons upgrade. Um, now in the up, yet under the current version, these weapon options are split between the two tier uh, 1 and tier 2 Titans. You can get a big flame or a big plasma cannon. A lightning cannon is more or less a less cannon, I think. A big melter, another chain sword on this side, so go melee. And what I just learned the other day is that um, if you want to double down on ranged, you would always want to have the adventure cannon because these guy, these weapons here, will exchange its range weapon, while this exchanges its. Uh, melee weapon and this of course also an exchange for to go in full on melee um, attack round probably because of the missile launch it has on the top yes and last but not least it also has this nightmare best forgotten thingy here so if you want to go full melee uh, this one helps you in melee fight even more um, so uh, I suggest you can use this uh, with a double reaper chainsaw and use this ability to do maximum damage in melee Okay, this is all the units. Um, the way to get this Hell Knight is a little special in the way that it replaces your the um, builder icon. So if I'm losing a builder, I just say it here so you understand it in the tech trees. If I lose a builder, I have it uh, a builder here now, and then I lose, uh, for example, I lose this and Hell Knight, so and think, oh god, where can I get my Titan? You need to get all the builders, and then this one uh, gets available here. Builders basically produce in no time, so just remember to get all the builders out uh, in the later tiers so you can have the Hell Knight available. Okay, these are all the units, all the buildings and all the stuff. We will now jump, as usual, in the tech trees. And here we are in the tech tree document, uh, which is, if I zoom out, uh, rather <laughs> limited for Legion of the Damned, as they have uh, this limited access to units. Um, but are very special in many uh, cases. Um, first, I want to talk about upgrades and when to when you get them. You get them uh, starting from tier two. Um, there is like bionics, which increases the health of your units. Then you have these uh, special weapon upgrades. The first one enables special weapons of your dreadnought. Uh, I think your predator and your two infantry units. And the second one um, gives you access to the weapons of your terminators. Uh, now that I think about it, it may be uh, may need to be changed to that it uh, the predator also requires this upgrade. But um, is uh, let that be my <laughs> problems. Then you have a uh, series of upgrades which increases the morale. And if, as I, I told you, uh, the if the morale is broken, they that's the point where they can get killed. So um, these upgrades are your first priority. But then again. I, I tell you how to get them, uh, how to officially, uh, efficiently, efficiently, whatever, to uh, get them uh, the best way. And this one gives your um, Marines, your Legionnaires and Legionnaire Outriders true sight. And this one uh, infiltrates your Legionnaires. So this is tier four, really late in the game. Uh, you can get this one. Um, as you can get them uh, now. Um, at the same time, you could say in the previous patch, they would get this and this and this and were, were overall less upgrades. Now you can get them uh, simultaneously. Um, the idea is once you hit tier two, you click this upgrade on one listing post, this upgrade on the second and this one on the third listing post. So you get all upgrades um, at the same time. They take quite a lot of time to get. So uh, you want to start them as soon as you are in tier two. Uh, similar, you want to start them these upgrades as soon as you're on tier three, and, and this ones as soon as you are in tier four. Um, yes, this leaves your listening post a, a little undefended for a little longer. So my suggestion is to use uh, the for the upgrades the listening posts uh, in the back of your base where you are less likely to be attacked. On the front side, you want to prioritize this upgrade with a bolter. On the top, um, let's talk about tier strength. You start off with a relatively strong tier one as your legionnaires and your leader is really strong. Your bikes used to be really strong, but they are not as strong anymore. And they got changed in a way that 
each bike increases the building time of the next bike so um, you cannot spam them as easily uh, in the beginning so these are more or less your utility for capping because they are fast you can have them cap stuff or these are your units you want to have to cap stuff with um, in tier 2 you get the upgrades which is a big boon for all your infantry including your bikes that can now get heavy bolters and you get access to rhinos and the dreadnought but tier 2 takes quite a long time to get to the, the research time the add-on time whatever is really long and the building time for the rhinos and the dreadnoughts is also really long so i normally skip those um, if you want to get anything i would suggest you get a rhino out because the utility you get from uh, the transport and have always some builders uh, behind it to repair um, where it really starts to kick off is uh, tier 3 where you now can get terminators and predators so both terminators and predators are very durable and very uh, useful units you want to have uh, some of each basically as as you need it on the field and as i said in tier 4 is the the thing where you can get your secondary commander which doubles your production speed so this is uh yeah where the shit drops the deck you could say where you can build like land raiders and uh, build everything you want and even tier up to tier 5 and then get your hell knight out so always get these commander out before you get a land raider or a, um, a titan out because the building time just gets halved so it's always useful and uh, recommended to have it on the field um, let's check something quickly here uh, as i said there's this one upgrade here that gives you access to uh, multiple weapons we will now check quickly yes the last guns uh, cannons and whatnot for the predator only require the first upgrade i would um, I make a suggestion and put it on the list that these upgrades require the second upgrade so um, you can hit this would impl imply that you can hit tier 3 build a predator but will need to wait for this upgrade to be finished to get the last cannon upgrade so I think this would be a good change because the predator in tier 3 with last cannons right away is really strong um, the units you get from survival are more or less your standard units you get a a bike, a legionnaire, a dreadnought, a predator, and a land raider. Yeah, I think this is it. I covered what you want to get in the tiers, what you want to prioritize. We will now uh, jump over to the build orders, which there are not as many as you would suggest on the limited units available. And here we are in the build order document. Your standard build order is uh, pretty straightforward. You get two capper units, then you get all your builders out to A, build your listing posts fast, and B, to get later some mines on the field. Then you want to get one legionnaire, and then um, you, you will not have enough pop cap to get your second legionnaire. That's why I want to, or uh, I would uh, recommend to get the hero out, which increases your uh, pop cap for squads so you can get a second legionnaire and then you want to click tier 2. You can if you want get a third legionnaire in tier 1 but um, the strength of legion if the damned is in later tiers so you want to have a, a quickly quote unquote tier 2. The second build order was very obnoxious in the previous patch and is not really as strong as it were before. It's the bike spam. Basically you get three bikes, get builders, get more bikes uh, about five is the point where you want to get to tier two um, don't get over eager to replace your bikes you will you that you lose because then it you delay your tier two even further so yeah this is uh, five is about the magic number um, i think not as strong as it was before and the second one is the tier two rush you could also say it uh, general tech rush what you can do if the enemy allows you is to just take up get only two capo units all your builders and this is mostly uh, effective on maps let's say like emerald river really big maps uh, where you also have access to a select deposits so as soon as you're in tier two you can get the the, the turrets on the select deposits so you have a really high regeneration on your hq and can out heal most um, hq quote-unquote snipes because you have such a high regeneration the enemy is busy getting all your listing posts and your uh, turrets on the select deposit so it may uh, allows you to take up to tier two uh, to tier three 
or tier four even if you want and have all the big units out uh, very quickly. And this is it. Um, for the most part, I um, say this one is really strong because your legionnaires are that good. And this one is really strong if your enemy allows it because you can get your really strong late game units out really fast. If the enemies allows it, you can get your Titan out, um, I think at minute 10 or something, but you're completely defenseless. So like you have only these two bikes and nothing else. Um, so uh, just keep in mind when you play against Legion of the Damned, check them, check what they are doing. If they have uh, no units, kill their listening posts. Go out on the map, kill their listening posts, kill their, um, if they are selectable sits, kill their turrets. And yeah, as I told you before, like in tier five, if you want to get your Titan out, you need six listening posts or like, uh, or like um, these turrets to uh, stabilize and even seven to regenerate. So kill the listening post. This is the general advice. Um, do not um, conf con, um, front them directly. Only the bikes can be killed easily. Other, uh, all other units need to uh, be taken seriously. So the, the, the way to deal with them is to um, abuse their uh, low mobility because the legionnaires take forever to go from one point of the map to the other. So you want to uh, attack listening posts that are undefended and there will always be undefended listening posts. The only thing you might find next to them are mines. But if you have ranged unit that can kill listening posts or even in tier two have some flyers that can kill listening posts like the Hell Talon uh, for the Chaos Marines, this is a unit you want to have uh, as soon as you can fly around the map, kill the listening posts. You don't need, really need to decap because the building time of the listening post is really high and you only have four builders. So um, yeah, keep keep the listening post killed and let the HQ kill itself basically by the degeneration. Okay, this is this. Now we will uh, jump over replay. This is a game I played against Huntington. So um, big shout out to him for letting me play Legion of the Damned. Most people uh, still fear them, but you see uh, probably, hopefully in the replay that they aren't as overpowered as they were before. And here on the replay where I play Legion of the Damned against Mr. Huntington, who plays Death Corps Greek on Quest Triumph. Quest Triumph in general uh, is a map that is Death Corps Greek favored, but in a way also favored for Legion of the Damned because you have limited ways to get attacked so you can have your slow units um, in good defensive positions. You see one thing for me that I immediately get over with my builder. This is not to build some mines because I cannot build mines as um, if I do not have a um, listening post, but I use it to scout, especially for these engineers moving out. I know that Huntington loves to get some uh, offensive or in a very good position uh, bunkers. The position here uh, I have to say isn't the greatest. It um, may or may not allow him to take the high ground, but you have heavy cover or light cover right next to it. So you, I can put units in here to shoot it. So a better position if you want to uh, save these two points would be here. But we are not at uh, Death Grove Creek. Um, here we are for, for the Legion of the Damned. I teleport out my builder to get the listening posts out quickly. Have my two cappers out now and uh, cap uh, stuff and build the listening post as fast as I can. The second capper I want to have here because I suspect him getting this point or prioritizing this point. Now I have to get a uh, builder out again because I'm about to uh, finish the listening post but I get actually attacked by the bunker and uh, I get damaged. I thought it's only energy weapon so who actually knows. Now here I get attacked by some uh, soldiers so I use this uh, 360 knockback but um, yes you can see here my morale bar drops and drops so I want to leave before or do I even break like one or two uh, <laughs> morale points uh, were still there so I'm now moving over here trying to get a defensive minefield so he is not able to pass this easily and you can see here my first legionnaire is on the way getting more and more listening posts my uh, HQ is degenerating. I only have one listening post. I would need this one to stabilize and uh, a third one to uh, get uh, the healing going. So I get this builder on the side here. Um, 
and now we'll probably move in the base yes try to be annoying have now two listening posts or um, almost have two listening posts so I can build a, a second minefield here momentarily I see that this point is not being um, built on so I will build a minefield right next to it because I can and have also my first uh, squad of legionnaires out and will even lose it uh, offensively here and you see the damage is really high on them you can take down a listing post and this minefield will somewhat uh, defend them as well all the while I'm getting my leader out now and my second legionnaire and you will see here that the uh, death Cove creek using their their HQ summoning mine really really nicely done it will take uh, deal quite a morale damage and uh, I need to move now I think yeah, I'm, I might as well decap this and I think I have a little misplay yeah, here. I, I thought I, I attacked him but then I saw my morale getting lower and lower so I want to decap this point and then um, you see the degeneration going here high so I then jump out of existence and build even another minefield because I can. <laughs> um, I use this time that um, I have to get my hero out and my um, not a unit and then want to go tier 2. Um, because I can. Getting more annoying uh, minefields out. Uh, you might as well uh, ignore the minefields. Um, or he would um, need to have the um, the standard barrier. I uh, know the standard barrier, the box operator. You see here, that my guys coming back, they do quite a lot of damage. I try to focus the capping squad and I'm successful, but you see the health dropping lower and lower and they will uh, go down. They will not go down without a fight, but they will go down. And as you saw the long building time for them, this is uh, actually a big blow for me. I still have these mines uh, that are annoying out here, de delaying his economy. Um, but yeah, this can be spotted by this strategic point here. A little too close for that. And these two could have been spotted by uh, the Master Vox. So I have more or less my half of the map. I use uh, now my hero and one bike I have here. To attack this bunker and I will take it down eventually it can be repaired but um, yeah it uh, focuses my hero my hero is um, relatively tanky and unbreakable um, you can see here that I'm just trying to build more and more mines um, I, I'm not sure if you can attack my builders with the units he has and now you see what I uh, said before I'm now sitting in this light cover here the thing about cover is not only the damage resistance but you get also increased morale regeneration. In light cover it's like 50% and in uh, heavy cover it's I, I think like 100%. So um, with Legion of the Damned uh, you like cover quite a lot, you might uh, suspect. And you can see here that the tech up time is really, really slow. I only have one Legionnaire squad, um, which is a little low, but yeah, there are soldiers. I, I used the, this Outrider here to uh, shield basically so that uh, my Builder, uh, my builder, my legionnaire and my hero can focus down this listing post and yeah you see the damage uh, gets dealt to the legion outrider this is the one unit that takes damage from normal sources quite uh, nicely I think the, the commander as well but yeah the legionnaires uh, will need to get their morale broken but I see um, flamers on them yeah they get flamers so uh, this will get annoying so you see the commander I didn't tell you can capture points actually this is really useful because your legionnaires are slow and your um, Legion Outriders are fragile, so you have this more tanky guy uh, who is able to uh, cap some points. My tier 2 is 60% done. Um, grenade launchers now, not flamers, interesting. And I want to get a point in the middle, but I'm probably not allowed to. Do you get nothing really from criticals other than wishing, and if you have taken hold enabled, you get uh, taken hold time, of course. So you might as well get the critical locations, especially this one in the middle of uh, Quest Rhyme is really big because you get like a real big um, uh, intel, a lot of vision range. Yeah, you see here that a flamer, or uh, like three flamers is um, enough to uh, get these guys um, broken. Trying to get a defensive minefield here so they cannot just walk in. This is the ability from my commander that um, <coughs> increases the damage dealt to them. So I inch forward with my with my um, legionnaires to uh, deal some damage. Every unit uh, killed is a good thing. And now I hit tier two, and you will hopefully see immediately that I get four upgrades. Come on, 
I start Legionnaires because I've queued them up, and here you can see upgrades and uh, um, um, LP2 upgrade and LP2 upgrade and LP2, and these are LP2s uh, as soon as I can because it does not cost me anything apart, of course, from your HQ HP. So uh, normally you want to in, uh, in upgrade them as soon as you can. So now that I'm getting more legionnaires, I'm feeling that uh, I get a feeling that I should attack more in this uh, favorable position here with the uh, light cover. I see the bunker again, so I need to probably run away with the bikes. But um, this guy is probably not long for this world, or is it? And my other legionnaire get them in now. These guys can now get an additional member, so there are three now, and this one. We we'll get uh, another member soonish as well. You see, the reinforcement time is really uh, long. I need to keep keep my um, leader in the back because he has still not regenerated as much as I would like. And now I, I want to focus down this uh, bunker and also kill some soldiers. Yeah. So these guys got low on morale, so I um, got them in the warp. I have these guys now with more HP because one of the first upgrades come through. I have the upgrade for the uh, Centurius here, so he can use this um, special shot and whatnot, the soul strike shot. Get a morale upgrade now as well. These guys are broken, so they will vanish as well. Get my third squad out, they will momentarily also come in to play. And what do I go for? I go for another one because I have still kept uh, to go for. So I have now three squads, two are vanished, and two, one is standing, and a fourth squad is being built. So Legionnaires in tier two are your backbone. I could. Uh, as I said before, also get for go for um, uh, Rhino, but um, this takes quite a long time. I normally prioritize a quicker tier tier uh, three. Try to use it, but it has no effect here. I have my listening post upgraded now, so I can. If I want to go back. You see here, they jumped in and got uh, 100 morale back. The other one come back more or less at the same time. So this is a little luck on my part that they come back at a similar timing. I have now also my Legionnaires built in the base as well, so I have now four Legionnaires. I have to have a weapon upgrade, so I get two with heavy bolters and one, I think, with plasma guns here. Yeah, so there you see it. Also got my uh, got the heavy bolter for this um, uh, Legion Outrider. There is now a gun turret emplacement, which will get taken down. I will need to follow up with my leader as well a bit, so he gives his. I think I don't think it's a morale aura. It's I think it's also a, a damage aura, but not sure. But it does not state really what this aura does provide. But now I have quite a DPS to take down this uh, listening post and also um, be able to. Uh, um, um, how should I say? Decap it. You see that the uh, degeneration is really uh, um, dangerous because um, your morale gets also lowered if you lose a model. So they are about to stabilize, but they lose the model and they get <coughs> morale broken again. Then they uh, degenerate even more, even more, even more. Morale is still broken, still broken. The other one dies, morale is uh, at zero, and this one will die as well. So you see how this can, um, how should I say, um, get momentum against you. So I only have two legioners anymore. The other two got uh, disintegrated, but it is all bought me time to have tier 3 out on the field soonish. So I get this listen post here as well. And now I'm not sure yet. I think I get this point in the middle and are quite heavily standing here because I'm my tier 3 is about to hit the field. So I can get terminators. Do I get for terminators? I think I go for terminators. Also use the time to uh, scout a bit um, to see if the uh, Huntington is tier 2 as well. That is why I forget to uh, build stuff. So I see he's tier 2 getting some storm cameras out. So um, my logical conclusion should be that I get a predator, but uh, my brain is not always functioning on the highest uh, level. So I get a terminator out actually, and then I queue up all the, the four upgrades now, like here, the true sight. Not sure if I need it, but um, you might as well get it. And now I'm getting also multi melters because um, this one here gets a heavy bolter, but this one ge gets a a multi melter because I saw these vehicles. So vehicles by themselves are also damaged by your normal infantry, fairly okay-ish. Um, but yeah, you do not have any um, dedicated infantry vehicles. So you see the waters don't do any real damage. The, the damage they should deal um, 
is morale and uh, morale is still fairly high but my first terminator or terminator is on the field terminators do not have a get out of jail card with the um, warp uh, thingy but they have a teleport and the teleport can also be used to get uh, out of dicey situations of course I have my uh, build, my commander here that uh, goes in and probably dies. I have my terminators now here out on the field. Commander is still here but now dies. They uh, get more models out. These are firing. Ah, they are just target firing. Um, they kill my listening posts here and now I uh, will move on. I have my terminator out here. My second terminator is about to hit the field. My commander is dead but this is now the big more or less turning point. I have these guys with the multi melter trying to focus down these cameras. These terminators are just smashing everything they can. They are now broken but they can still take down this uh, camera. As I said they do additional damage uh, once broken so I jump back. I have this uh, legionnaires coming back from the warp. These guys are jumping back in these light cover so they regenerate morale faster. So they will uh, get Stabilize a bit. Yeah, they just stabilized. No, they did lose the model. But you can see here, um, if they have too low morale, they cannot uh, reinforce. They are now uh, back on the field. These guys are broken, but I have my second uh, squad of Terminators. These guys got back from the warp and <laughs> killed again. And now I finally realized that I need a Predator out. And this Predator is highly overdue against these uh, vehicles. We also have these heavy weapon uh, spots out here. These guys I have still broken morale degenerating like crazy. Um, yeah, but I still want to charge because um, I have the long ranged uh, game against me so I want to A, either charge or B, run away. And I decide to charge because the Germanists are so freaking tanky. Can they teleport out or will they die? They teleport maybe out. One model remaining. And phew! I go back into the light cover and live for another day. All this buys me time to get my predator out. These legionnaires are still broken and are not long for this warped world will die. I still have my terminator squad which also gets now assault cannons because I got the upgrade for it. The predator is coming in the cavalry arrive getting less cannons left and right and this is uh, when I can finally finally push onward. I will focus down the vehicles with them and focus down the uh, infantry with my terminators once they are uh, on the field. So Predator is what uh, it takes here to finally gain some ground. I get a second yeah, and then I get my builders to repair because I lost my builders in the process of trying to harass the base a bit more. You can see here that it's a quite intense fight. Normally I would have cast this replay because uh, a, it's a good game, and second, you do not see a lot of Legion of the Dam. But now the writing is on the wall, there's not much left of an uh, advancing force. My two Terminator squads are still alive and reinforcing this heavy, this Predator is uh, slowly but surely getting repaired. And yeah, this is more or less it. Um, my second Predator is now also on the way, getting now a Legion Outrider to cap getting all my builders out to uh, increase the repair speed. These guys are getting demolished. This um, multiple tuning team I think is trying to get away but I see it and um, what do you think? Will they will they survive? Will these uh, terminators allow them to survive? Oh I even teleported with all them so the answer is no they will not survive. Terminators with sword cannons say nay. There they go. Now they can jump back uh, to the bottom. I have now uh, two Predators with last cannons out and yeah, this is pretty much it. I think I get yeah, another Terminator because uh, yeah, I could get another Predator but um, I think the Predators is enough. I need more uh, Terminators because they are really nice. Who doesn't love Terminators? Yeah, so this is the game basically. This the, the rest of the game is uh, me uh, finishing out, closing out this game. Um, you can see here that I also have the uh, taken hold win condition, so always, always get these points if you can. Um, I hopefully could show you that the Legion of the Damned isn't as uh, broken as they were before. Um, the um, how could um, Huntington dealt with them? Maybe this uh, 
Vulture user here, um, this flyer could have taken down my listening post, for example. Um, I am tier 3, so if he takes down trees to listening post, my HQ will start to degenerate and it's only 6,000 HP. If he even got more points than this, um, uh, I would be in serious trouble um, having like one of these flyers or even two flying around killing listening post is really the way to go. Um, because I only have like um, 6000 HP with a hefty degeneration if I lose my points. So, yeah, I also won games against Legion of the Damned where I did just that. Tried to not uh, confront him directly, but even the direct confrontations, you could see how um, how Death Golf Creek war was able to fight me back more again and again, um, but then got in the bad behavior of uh, always uh, wanting to attack the most defended position. Like in tier 2 with the vehicles, he could also get a got a hellhound, a singular hellhound, moved him over here, attacked his listening post. So I would need to um, reply to it. So I would need to pull um, some forces from here over here. So this position would have been not as defended as it were, so I could not assault here. And uh, if he killed one or two listening posts, then I would have uh, less HP on the HU. And I think every new listening post I build and upgrade also reduced the maximum uh, health of my HQ again and again. So forcing the Legion M to rebuild listening posts, re-upgrade listening posts also uh, lets you win the game in the long run. It, it seems like a grinder, you're like, oh, now they're just rebuilding it for free. But it's not for free. It takes time, it takes uh, um, HQ, HP. So I, I hope I can could make the point here. Um, yeah, if I forgot something about the Legion of the Damned, if I have told you something wrong, if you uh, have more information than I have, please, please write it in the comment. If I get some uh, knowledge I, uh, that is worth sharing. I will pin the comment, of course. So other than that, as, as the usual, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.